everyone! Welcome to your Animoto tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll first show you how to get an Animoto Educator account. And then I'm going to show you some basic uh, tutorial of actually how to make an Animoto movie. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to Animoto.com, A-N-I-M-O-T-O.com, and you're going to want to click Sign Up. Okay, when you get to this page, you're going to have to go ahead and put in the information that it's asking you for, and you'll go ahead and click Sign Up. The next thing that you're going to want to do is since you have signed up, let's go into our account. Okay, we're currently a free user right now. So right now, um, our videos are limited to 30 seconds. Um, and let's see, for only $5 a month or $30 a year, we can upgrade to a plus plan. And in a plus plan, you can make 10 minute long videos, you get access to more than 600 music tracks, and you can download videos to your computer, to a DVD, and that kind of thing. But we don't really need to do this. So let's go back to our home page. And down here at the bottom, there's a little bitty button that says education. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, now it used to take you straight to the uh, Animoto for Educators page, but now it takes you here and it wants you to spend $249 a year to buy the Animoto Pro, which is awesome if you are really going to use it and you don't want to have it watermarked with the Animoto logo at the end and that kind of thing. However, we are teachers and we do need the free stuff, so I'm going to show you how to find that. Right here, are you a teacher? You want to use it with your kids for classroom projects? Click on the Learn More button. Once you click here, it's going to take you to this page, the Unlimited Video for Educator page. So when I'm logged in, in my account, I'm going to go ahead and click Apply Now. So now I can go ahead and type in my information. And I'm going to put my same email address that I put in before and I'm not going to leave my class website blank and I'm going to click sign up. Uh-oh. Okay, I won't take that one. Let's do... So now it's giving me my Animoto for Education account has been approved and it has given me this, oops, this promotional code right here. I keep missing that. There we go. Okay, so you can either write this down or it will send it to the email address that you put in, but this is actually the code that you can use to give out for your kids if you want them to be able to create their own account. You can actually use that code up to 50 times to make an Animoto account or for your kids to make Animoto accounts that they can use for school projects, which is great. And you have a six month free subscription and that code will work up to six months. So considering that this is December, our codes now will work through the end of the school year once we do this. Okay, so that would be the code that you would give the kids when they would sign up for their account as their promotional code, their promo code. That's what they would type in. Okay, again, this code will be emailed to you, but you either need to save the code here or you need to write it down um, or you need to save the email that they send you. Otherwise, you won't be able to find this code anywhere else. Okay, all right, now that you have your Animoto for Educator account, Let's go back into our account and take a look. 
Okay, so now our account information has been updated. We are currently an Animoto for Education customer. Our account will not expire until June 3rd. And at that point, we can reapply for the education user account. They will send you an email to remind you that you need to reapply for that a couple of days before it expires so that you'll have the opportunity to do that to continue your educator account. Um, and so with this account, you actually have the, the plus plan. So let's go ahead and take a look at that plan just so you can kind of understand what your um, what your bonuses are. So we went from this light plan where you have a free account, a 30 second video length, um, you just have web quality video, you're limited on the video styles that you can choose from and you have about 300 music tracks. Well now you can have up to 10 minute videos Again, at web quality, you can choose from 50 video styles, um, still around the same music tracks, but now you can also upload your own tracks, and you can download the video to use in presentations, which is great. So we are good to go. Let's go ahead and look at creating a video. So the first thing you're going to do when you're working on an Animoto video is you're going to pick a style. So you can scroll down through here and see all the lovely styles that they have to offer. Okay. And if you hover over one of them, you can actually kind of play a preview to see if you like it. Okay, let's look at another one just for an example. So it's the same pictures that they've used in each of these. You can just see that they're used in, in different styles. Now don't pay any attention to the music because you can change that no matter which style you pick. Um, so let's just for the sake of, of this particular um, demo, let's go ahead and pick the original. That's one of my favorites to go with. So we're going to click create. Okay, now it gives you a couple of options. So you can upload your own videos or you can grab them from somewhere else, Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, Picasa, Flickr, Smug Mug, Photo Bucket. So we're going to go ahead and go to upload our own. And typically this is what I ha would have um, my kids do. I would have them collect all of their images ahead of time and have them in a folder. So I'm going to highlight all the pictures in my folder that I want in my movie. Okay, and then this is just telling me the next steps for my video. I've chosen my style already. Um, I can select a music track or upload one of my own music tracks, and then I can add text. Okay, we got that. So what's happening now is it's slowly uploading each of the images that I just selected. And it's going to put them in the order in which they were in my folder. But that doesn't really matter to me because once they appear in my movie, I can literally drag and drop them in any order that I want them to appear in my movie. So I'm fine with that. Um, so maybe I want this one first. Whoops. There we go. Um, now, you'll notice as you hover over each one of these, a little caption option appears. So you can click on that and add a caption to certain images. So I typed in my little caption and I can click save. click out of that and there I have my caption. Now let's say I want to add some text. I just click the little add button and I can add text here. So I'm going to enter my title. And you can see 
that you are limited in characters. Okay, so um, your students will, will have limitations. The second line typically allows you to have more characters. You have 50. And what I do like about this is that there is a little spell check in here. It's kind of ironic that they think Animoto is misspelled. Um, but the kids, you know, you just kind of have to be a little bit patient with the, the formatting if you're wanting them to identify certain things or, you know, depending on what you're having them do in the actual video. So sometimes you just have to improvise and click save. Okay, so that, I want that actually to be my title slide, so I'm going to drag that up here. So it's literally as simple as that. You just drag and drop. Um, and over here you can go back and change anything you want to. You can go back and change the style if you preview it and don't like it. You can add additional pictures and videos. You can add text. If I really like one of these um, photos a whole lot, I can highlight it like this and then click the spotlight button and see how the little yellow um, frame appeared. So now that photo will be shown a little bit longer than the other photos in the picture. You can rotate or duplicate selected items if you need to. You could just delete something if it turns out you don't want it in there. One of the pretty cool features that I like about Animoto is that you can actually add stuff from their library. So if you click in their image library and click on, I don't know, animals, they have a ton of pictures that you can add. I like this little guy, so we'll add that one. And there, there's my little puppy dog. You can also add videos by going this way as well in the video clip library. One of my favorite ones is the travel. Um, they have different landmarks here that you can see. And you can even see the length of the video clip. So we'll just pick this 14 second one. Um, and it's going to only show about 10 seconds of that. But I can click on the settings here and then play what the video clip is so I can kind of see that and it looks like it's a little zoom video and what's neat about this is that you can actually drag your video and only show a specific part of that or you could slide it to the end and show the end or you could say hey um, I want you to show you know the first 10 seconds or whatever of this particular video clip and then you can just kind of watch and preview from there All right, I'm happy with that. So I can click out of that. And I'm going to have that be my second video, my second thing here. OK, so this is our little video as it is. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the music library. I'm going to just click on the title of that song. And you can change your music. They have a full music library, or you could upload your own music here. Um, if you want to upload a song, it has to be in MP3 format, so keep that in mind. But I'm going to pick something from their music library. They actually have a whole lot of really good um, music in here. And I like the instrumentals or the classicals, so they have a bunch of classical. Ooh, they added some Halloween stuff recently, I believe, and they have some holiday stuff. Yeah, they have a ton of instrumental stuff. So you can actually click play and hear a little sample. That's a little country for me. OK. I like that one, so I'm going to click Add Song. OK, so over here I can see that my song length is 3 minutes and 27 seconds. And out of that length of time, my text and videos and pictures add up to one minute and nine seconds. So technically, if I wanted to, I could add, you know, another two minutes worth of images or text or different things like that um, if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and preview my video the way that it is. So this is where you would preview your video. So you click on this and it, go, it, it goes ahead and generates everything that you have done up to this point into what your video would actually look like. So it's shuffling all the pictures and images and video and title and caption that we put in there and it's going to mix it up into the style that we chose and it's going to throw in the music that we picked as well. Now if we like what happens here we can go ahead and type in our title and a description and we can tell it to produce it or we can say I'm not really happy with that preview I'm gonna go ahead and continue editing 
So it does take a few minutes for the preview to generate, so we'll wait. Okay, here comes our preview. Okay, so you get the idea here. It just kind of mixes it up. Now I will tell you this, it, the preview is always a much lower resolution than it is when you actually produce it. It's just sort of squishing it all together really quickly so you can get kind of a general sense of what it'll look like. But once you actually click the produce button, it will give you a slightly higher quality video overall. And when it's finished, again, you can download it, you can share it with a link, um, you can email it to somebody as a link and that kind of thing. Um, you can upload it to YouTube. Um, so let's title this Delete Me Example. And I'll just go ahead and click Produce because I'm happy with the way that it is. And what's nice too is that once it's produced, it emails you and lets you know that it's ready to go. You can already see here that this is a higher resolution now that we're kind of out here in this area. Um, so you can share it on Facebook or Twitter, email it. Um, you could always copy and paste the link that's up here and share it that way, which is kind of my preferred way. I'll have my kids turn it in on Edmodo or they'll post the link to the Padlet wall. Or really, I usually have all my kids kind of log into my teacher account and I'll just have them make their videos in there so that I can log in and grade them at home uh, virtually. So that's another, another way to do it. I hope that this Animoto tutorial has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.